Hello and welcome to Programming Like It's 1979. Things are a little weird here right now. We're in the process of moving studios. And as you can see, we've got big empty rooms and not a lot set up. So our next real episode is not gonna air for a while. But so much is happening right now with technology that I felt the need to rant a little bit. So I hope you'll forgive me. This is a little less structured than most of my videos. Uh, the world is ablaze with discussion of Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter and his management, mismanagement, etc. of that process. And there's one thing I want people to really take away from watching him blunder a multi-billion dollar business into failure. So before Twitter, Elon Musk ran a rocket company, SpaceX, launching satellites and the like, and an electric car company, Tesla. So if there's one thing I'd like you to take away from this, it's the certainty that software development or programming is more complex than going to Mars. Now that doesn't mean it's harder than going to Mars, but at the end of the day, building a physical object or achieving some goal in the physical world is constrained by physics. Software development, except in a very disconnected sense, is not. So what that means is you can have a bad idea and write software implementing that bad idea. You can build diaphanous towers of thought on the foundation of a bad idea. And as a software developer, let me promise you, not only can we build towers on the foundations of bad ideas, we often do. But it's not just the concepts that are the problem here. If you've ever worked with real engineers, that is to say, engineers who build physical objects, one thing you know is that they respect process. For that matter, they have process. If you ask 10 software engineers what process they should use to build a complex piece of software, you will get 20 opinions and they will start developing that software and frankly, probably finish developing that software before ever settling on one process to develop it by. Now, part of this is just capitalism because it's possible to develop complicated software using only one resource, that is manpower, rather than having to buy bricks, mortar, steel, cables, the things that go into making, say, a bridge, because it's possible to do it. Many companies make the trade-off that it's more important to get something done quickly than to get it done right. And when you do look at the kind of popular software development methodologies right now, what you see is a disdain for process. You'll hear people talk about waterfall and over-specification. Really, we want to be agile. We want to move fast and break things. Well, moving fast and breaking things is fine if your product is a social network. The consequence of Twitter going belly up and dying is that we miss a few laughs. The consequence of misengineering a car or misengineering a bridge is people die. So yeah, maybe moving fast and breaking things is fine, uh, depending on your domain. But I do want to suggest that the allergy that software engineers seem to have developed for process um, does not serve us well. And in the long run, probably limits our ability to accomplish certain things in certain domains. I really would like the person writing the software, running my pacemaker, to have followed a very careful specification process and testing process and validation process. I don't want the person writing, writing software for a pacemaker to be moving fast and breaking things. I want them to be moving slowly, deliberately, and carefully. So the next time you start a large software project, ask yourself, what is the role of process in that project? Do the people on your team agree about the nature of that role? And what's your level of commitment to it? When you eventually encounter the inevitable trade-off between 
process and speed, between safety and speed. How are you going to make that call? I'm recording this just two days after the death, the passing, of Fred Brooks. Fred Brooks wrote a couple of very famous papers and books on software development, most notably The Mythical Man Month and No Silver Bullet. And these books have a lot to say about process. If you're a software developer and you've never read them, stop what you're doing and go do it now. The one sentence summary of the mythical man month is adding more programmers to a late software project makes it later. If you've been through around the block a few times, you know the truth of that statement. So if you've never read it, definitely read it. If you have read it, maybe give it another look and ask yourself how it's applicable to us today. Thanks for letting me rant. This has been Programming Like It's 1979. Thanks for watching.